Yo, what is up guys? If you are on this video, I'm not even going to waste time with an intro. I'm just going to get right into it because this is pretty much breaking brand new news. We have got brand new looks at Megatron for Rise of the Beast toys. And this is not like a significant deluxe or Voyager Studio Series, anything like that. It's more of one of these gimmick toys, but uh, it's, it's not the best shot here, but we have a good look uh, a decent look at least of the CGI rendered uh, image on the side of the box here of this toy from Megatron and we've got some enhanced images uh, courtesy of the Twitter handle you see on the screen but the I mean look at this we've got Megatron here for Rise of the Beasts and it, I think he looks fantastic this is a really good riff off of the uh, G1 uh, Megatron you could see the inspiration in the head design the body design if you look at the toy itself there with the red in the torso the kind of boxy chest uh, while still having a more modernist uh, modern-esque uh, appeal to it and something about the way the CGI uh, it's not the best uh, shot obviously because it's on the side of the box but something about the way the chest and the, and the arms are looking gives me kind of a demeanor presence of the of the Bayverse Megatron while the design is of course much more similar to the G1 but I think this guy looks absolutely fantastic and uh, of course we don't know for sure whether or not this is a design from the Bumblebee movie or if this is a design for Rise of the Beast because obviously this is a Rise of the Beast toy but if you know anything about Hasbro and what they've done in the past with uh, the way they the way they communicate with the movie and the CGI departments and the designs that are actually used early on when they're making the toys are not always the same ones that end up being used in the final movie or they, they go through so many changes this this that and the third and there's so many examples you can find in the past of just wacky uh, toys that don't necessarily match what appears in the movie but so what i'm saying is this could be an example of the fact that this toy could just be based on the bumblebee movie designs of megatron and there was a studio series leaked toy nobody knew if that was really a real thing or not but this pretty much all but confirms that there was at least something in the works of a studio series megatron uh for the bumblebee movie but this is really cool seeing that we are actually getting toys for megatron for rise of the beast which i mean maybe is this a spoiler that I'm not, I, I wouldn't go as far to say that he's going to be a big presence in the movie, but will he be teased in the end or will he show up at the end? I'm thinking that's very likely or in the post credit scene, something like that. But we are getting Megatron Rise of the Beast toys. Again, I just want to emphasize that doesn't necessarily mean we're getting him in the movie, but just look at this. I mean, he looks fantastic. I'm really, really happy with uh, how this guy looks. Uh, and you could see with the enhanced, uh, this enhanced image is just a really good uh, perspective. E obviously not the best, obviously probably not completely realistic to how you'd appear on screen. But man, this is a really cool Megatron design. I can't emphasize that enough. And I really do just hope we do get to see this design uh, on the big screen. But I guess we'll just have to wait a couple more months and then we'll find out. Hopefully we got a new trailer sometime in the next couple days. But that's really all... I have to share about this just wanted to get this video out uh, if you are new to the channel here I do a bunch of other Transformers related content so if you would I would really appreciate if you'd hit that like or that sub if you didn't like hit the dislike button it is what it is but let me know what you think in the comments down below likes dislikes anything is appreciated until next time peace